Well, it's day three and the rain that I anticipated have started. It's supposed to rain pretty heavily now for the next, I'd say 24 hours. So I'm planning to just stay put. Got a short break from the rain. Clouds are really low up here in this high valley. It's around 7 p.m. now. It's been raining since 9.30 in the morning.
Alright, after 24 hours of raining, it looks like it could be clearing. Gonna wait for the wind to dry off the tent, I think. Uh, day four and after 24 hours of constant rain uh, only a couple of five minute breaks uh, it finally stopped raining and uh, this is the most heavy rain I've ever had in a tent it was just pouring down bucket loads of water for extended periods of time 24 hours is a long time to stay in the tent and wait out the rainstorm but you do what you have to do i'd rather stay in the tent than being outside and getting soaked in the pouring rain so today it looks like it's gonna be less rain or no rain the forecast said it would stop around now and it did so let's uh, hope i can uh, move a bit today all right i'm walking again Day four, first goal is to get over this pass in front of me. I think the trail goes right in the snow chute. So I might have to try and climb around it or, or maybe it isn't as steep as it looks from here and I can just walk up it. We'll see, I'll make it over there. I'm not turning around now. It's just an endless boulder field. Such cool formations. Looks like I can either go up to the left side here and come through the snow field and in there or I could probably just climb straight up. That's probably the fastest. Looks like there's a trail to the left over there. So I might just do that. Some shelters here. 
to wait out storms. Pretty cool valley. Very remote it feels. Long hole it. Long bottom. Or the long hole. Nobody out here on this Sunday. Jagged peaks. And a little climb here. It's a pretty short pass. I've come up quite a ways in elevation already, so I'm guessing this pass is at around 1800 meters or something. The closer you get, the less steep it looks. It's just an easy scramble so far. Alright, that's basically it, I think, unless there's something false. Brand new view.
pretty steep trail to get down here. So give it a There's the pass. Kind of a fun little walk down there. Looking out to the south here now, towards Spanget. Strange to think these were all trolls at some point. Now they're turned to stone. Cool though. This is Storunden, the second highest mountain in the range. I'm planning to head out into this valley out here.
this in here is the pass that I came over. You can see a faint trail in there. And out here to the very right is Rondeslotte. 180 degrees different angle from where I camped the first night. Down here is Rondevatn and uh, Rondevaspu, one of the flagship uh, trekking association cabins. This is a full service uh, with personnel working here. You can sleep here, you can eat, you can buy some groceries, some supplies, probably rent bikes and a lot of different things. I'm going to head into Rondevaspu and see if I can get a waffle. It's a Sunday, there's a lot of people in here. I can do this as a day hike from the other side of the mountain. So I took a little break at Rondevaspu, had a cup of coffee while a storm, a quick storm passed through and now it's shining up, sun is out and it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day from here on. Awesome. I'm heading in the direction of Bjorn Hulia. I'm gonna camp somewhere in between Rondevasbu and Bjorn Hulia in Ilmanadalen, Ilmana Valley. I have no idea about how to translate Ilmanadal. I'm 
out here towards the west you can see Jotunheimen. That's where I'm headed next. Let's hope we'll get some good weather for that. I think we're gonna get bugs. It's quite calm right now. It's really beautiful here. Amazing. Great place for a camp. Chicken curry. morning it's uh, day five and today I'm heading down in Manadalen to Björn Olia and from there I'm gonna go back to my car and 
head to Jotunheimen. Crossing the divide now, and the water is flowing east. Some pretty cool canyons here. Down here is uh, Bjorn Hulia. I'm gonna go down there and then I'm gonna go over this ridge and continue towards my car. Bjorn Hulia. Really pretty place. an old homestead here.
that's pretty cool. There is uh, Hergonten that I was on the first day out here. So I've come full circle. Pretty cool. On the first day of this trip, I started down here, made my way up this ridge here. And up on this ridge, and climbed up to the top of Hergonden. Then I went down behind these mountains here. I ended up making camp in this valley high up here somewhere. Pretty cool to be able to see all of this again. I'm nearly back at the car, so I'm gonna call this the end of a fantastic trip. Had some really cool weather, heavy rains, and beautiful sunshine. Very cool. <laughs>